Today I want to introduce an art master in painting plum blossom. Tao Shou Bo. Start at the bottom of this picture, you can see the agility of his brush strokes. He draw with different inks of dry, wet, thick, and thin. His picture shows vivid, fresh, and refined feelings. He used the light color ink to draw the trunk first, then used some drier with hollow lines and dark inks to form the edges of the trunk. Last, he used the wet and thick inks, dancing along the middle of the trunk and dotting the protruding parts of it. Just watching all these brush strokes, we can see his super skills in painting plum blossoms were derived from his hardworking and whole life. In the middle part of the painting, the brush strokes are handsome and powerful, show the forces of ink lines, just like they are drawing by iron wire or silver hook, instead of by calligraphy brushes. This painting is very ethereal, and his inscription is also recognized as one of the best calligraphies among artists. The title of the painting means the branches and sparse shadows of plum blossoms. The inscription means, in 1961, during the Lantern Festival on January 15 of the lunar calendar, Tao Shobu gifted this painting to Mrs. Florence Drumright, who was also a proficient artist in Chinese painting, for her appreciation and enjoyment. Tao Shobua, 1901-1997, from Jiangsu, China and was born into poverty. When he was 15 years old, he went to Hanjin Pavilion in Suzhou, where he studied seal carving under Tang Bo Qian and Tang Zhongfang. At the age of 25, he learned with artist Zhao Shuru. At the age of 29, he became a disciple of artist Zhang Di Qian and began painting plum blossoms. He participated in the Shanghai Painting Society and befriends with famous artists such as Su Bei Hong, Lu Hai Su, and Pan Tian Shou, etc. His writing was very good and was a contributing writer to Great World News. It has been recorded that he had once published seven short articles within one day. At the age of 38, he founded three newspapers. This can account for his highly literary content that showed in the borders of his seals and his colophons in his paintings and in calligraphy, especially his poems, were considered fresh, timeless, and full of affections. He has been recognized as the King of Painting Plum Blossoms by art circles in many countries and was known as the Three Perfections of Calligraphy, Painting and Seal Carving in Taiwan and Overseas. He was called a giant hand of seal carving and a holy hand of painting plum blossoms by others. He painted 30,500 plum blossoms in his lifetime with extraordinary artistic conception. After arriving in Taiwan in 1950, he held his first art exhibition in 1951. President Chiang Kai-shek appreciated Tao Shoubo's paintings very much. In 1953, President Chiang Kai-shek commissioned a huge congratulatory plum blossom painting from Tao to be presented to U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower for his election triumph. Artist Pu Xianyu once asked Tao as an acting teacher to teach plum blossoms in Pu's classes at the normal university. Unexpectedly, Tao taught the class for several months. The plum blossoms he painted were often in huge sizes. His paintings were grand and magnificent and were loved by many people. In the next issue, I will introduce Professor Hukum and stay tuned.